Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Luna Crossings and in today's video is the first video of my Island Designing 101 series and we are actually starting with some interior design tips. I'll show you how to use partition walls, columns, and countertops. In order to use these items you must have the paid DLC Happy Home Paradise but anyways if you want to see more videos from me please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing and with that Let's get this tutorial started. The first thing that I wanted to show is that the columns and countertops have a lot of different variations. My favorite is the wooden pillar, which comes in these three variations, then the concrete pillar with no variations, the brick with three. The simple pillar has a ton of different colors, which could look good on a kid core island, for example, but that yellow is musty and dusty though. <laughs> And the steel pillar has no variation, and the marble has three. There is a gold one that I just wasn't interested in getting, but if you're interested, there is a gold one. And the counters also have the same exact customizations, so there's a lot to choose from. The partition wall takes the color of the main wallpaper and takes up two spaces. Unfortunately, you can't hang anything from them, but I'll show you a hack later on how you can fill all this empty space. I'm just showing here that you can use them to cover the whole wall. I don't know why, but there it is. <laughs> okay, so now I'm moving on to some different ways that you can use these items. I'm starting with putting the columns in each corner of the room. I really like this hack because it doesn't take up much space, but adds a lot to the room by accentuating the corners. And now I'm just showing how you can section off a small room which I see people typically use as a bathroom, a small bedroom, or a laundry room. You could also turn this into a closet or some other feature you would typically see in the type of room you're going for. I like to add columns to the ends of the partition walls to give them a more finished look. I also like to leave enough room so that you can make sure you still have access to the room. Also note that you can move any of these features around however you want. Um, here are some other items you can use as partitions. This is the high tension pole and both of the wooden partitions. These are nice because they have shelves that you can place small items on and can take up less room if you want them to. I love the tension pole. The shelves are so cute and add a nice touch to the room without making it feel too cluttered and giving the room some height. So these two columns are also an option, but I'm not the biggest fan of them inside because they don't reach the ceiling, so I won't be using these today, but to be fair, they are nice if you want to add items on top of them. If you have Happy Home Paradise, you probably know that you can add an accent wall. So you just face the direction of the wall you want accentuated, select the wallpaper that you want, and press X to make it the accent wall. So I'm choosing this rice paddy wallpaper. The first design I'm starting with is adding these two partition walls directly in front of the front door and adding a column on each end. This creates this sort of front hallway and you can leave enough room to add some items along the wall. If your design is in the main room, you can situate these either in front of the side doors or behind them. The main room of the house is very difficult to decorate, but another thing you could do if you want is to actually block off rooms with partition walls if you don't want to decorate them. But anyways, I'm now creating the opposite of what I just did, which is having this large gap in the middle with partition walls on each side. And yeah, like I said, you can move these around to fit where the doors are, which are somewhere around here. <laughs> uh, using this design with the walls on the side make the room more open, and the partition walls together make the room feel smaller and cozier, so it's up to you which one you would like to do. So now I'm adding an additional partition here to create a 90 degree angle. I did this particular design in my bedroom on my last island and I really liked how it turned out. So to do this, push these back into each corner and you could use just one of these if you want to add more dimension to your room or like I'm going to do, which is create a patio. So now I'm going to talk about the glow in the dark stickers. These can be customized and used as a sticker, so to say, on your wall. This is different than adding a QR code directly to the wall because the code will act as the whole wallpaper or if you hang it up as a picture, it protrudes from the wall and they don't really fit together. So these make it seamless. So the first thing I'm gonna do with these is customize them to these columns, which will act as a patio railing. 
I love this design a lot. You can add a seating area in this little divot or some type of patio item like the fire pit. And I'm just showing here that if you choose to do this, there will be a gap if you pan around the room. So I usually like to fill these areas. You could turn them into a closet or a storage room, for example. So the next design I'm doing is creating an alcove with a window. I start with adding two partition walls on each side to cover the accent wall, which usually looks best if it's an outdoorsy type animated wallpaper. I add columns in front of each partition close to where the alcove is to make it look more finished. So you can really add anything to these alcoves as long as it is two squares wide. You could add a bed, either sideways or head on to have the window be behind the bed, a dining room table, or a desk, which are just a few of the many options. Now taking the glow and the dark sticker, I'm customizing it again to this window design. If you're interested, I have a ton of different window codes on my Pinterest, which will be linked in the description below. Now I'm just showing how you could do the same design, but instead of windows, you can add wallpaper. I'm using the stickers customized with a pattern I like, but you could also have the wall set as the accent wall if you want, but I like to do this because then you can have another wall as the accent wall and have much more variation. You could obviously add columns in the middle, which I would do if I was actually designing the room. You can make this area as big or as small as you want. And a suggestion is that the tension pole looks really good in front of the wallpaper if you're looking to add a bit more something. So this is the finished design. Like I said, I would normally add columns to the middle. I don't know why I didn't here, but it makes it look a lot better. Don't forget that there are different column variations, but I'm just sticking with the wooden one in this video just to make it easier on myself. So now, the next design I'm doing, I'm starting with two columns next to each other and adding the tension pole in front of them. I like to just add this maybe on the side of the room, or like I'm doing here, I'm adding the tall counter to create this, I don't know, kitchenette? <laughs> I have no idea what a kitchenette is, I just, I've heard the word. <laughs> I don't know, whatever this is, I'm making it. <laughs> Just a question, does anybody else find the countertops super irritating to work with? I mean, in this case, they're fine, but I always find they're either too tall or too short. Oh, another thing I didn't add in this video is that you can create steps by layering the short and tall countertops in front of one another. I've seen some really cute designs like that where you can add a door code to the wall with the countertops in front of them so it looks like stairs going up to the door. But anyways, yeah, you can add some stools here and add kitchen items on the other side. Another variation of this is to add additional counterparts 90 degrees from the other countertops. And it makes this enclosed area, which would be nice if you're doing something like a hotel lobby or something like that. You could also use the reception desk or the counter table, which are good substitutes for these counters. The next design I'm doing is to add two countertops in the middle of the room and add two columns on each side. I'm also adding four chairs surrounding it. This type of design would be really good for a school or college or even if you want to do this for the dining room table in your kitchen. You could also add some type of item like the open wooden shelf just to add some more dimension to your room. This design can also be really nice pushed against the wall. If you put columns next to almost any item, it makes it look really good and draws attention to it. In my last house, I did something similar to this with my dining room table, except I pushed it against the wall, and I really liked it. And this is the finished design. The next design I'm doing, I'm actually using some fancy schmancy marble columns. <laughs> Now, this design specifically would look good if you're doing a grand entrance to your house. Maybe like a hotel, or if you're doing maybe a Grecian themed island, or something very elegant. So the first part is to spread out four columns evenly. You could leave it like that, or you could add a fountain in the middle like I'm doing. You can leave it like this as well, or surround it with plant partitions, or the countertops acting as seating, or anything that you really want. So I'm just showing the plant partitions here, and you can't really see the base of the fountain, just the water, which I really like. The last design I'm doing is this reading nook. 
I start with a partition wall parallel to the wall and two partition walls perpendicular to that one. As always, I'm adding columns to each side. If you want, you can fill this area with extra partition walls like I'm doing so that if you pan around, you won't see a gap behind this area. Now I'm adding the countertops, three on each side and two columns at the end. This is creating a double reading nook or just a windowsill that you can add items on. I did this design in my living room on my last island and it was definitely my favorite design that I've done so far. If you're making a library or something like that, this is a great idea. I added the wooden bookshelves behind the seating area on my island, but here I'm going to be making two giant windows. You can add an item in the front, like the open wooden shelf for example. The hack that I was talking about earlier to make the partition walls look less empty is to add ceiling items. The curtains, drapery, and hanging shelves are some of my favorites. You can also just add something that already has height, like the Nordic shelves, or simply add a fireplace, which is what I did on my island. Now I just wanted to discuss some other items that you could use as partition walls. This is the Takonama. This is a really nice item, and the scroll can be customized as well. If you want to use it as a partition, add it next to the wall, either facing towards or away, depending on what you prefer. If you're going for a medieval or elegant type theme, the castle walls can be used either to line the walls or as partition walls. So I'm just showing here that you can treat them the same way and seal the sides with columns. I know these don't match, okay, but it's fine. It doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> really bothers me. <laughs> but the space on top of the castle walls can be paired with different types of wallpaper, like the shackle wall that could look really good, or the dirt clawed wall. The medieval side buildings pretty much act the same way. And if you're going for cottage core or any type of rustic theme, consider adding storefronts. The shochi divider is really nice in bathrooms or spas or in lighter colored rooms. The jail bars are really nice for a wild west or abandoned city theme. And if you want partitions that aren't large, you could use the plant partition or these open shelves. I'm sure there are a lot of other items like this that you could use as well. Another thing that I've been seeing around is using the castle gate as an entry to your living room or bedroom. It's really pretty. And this tutorial is completely finished. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video could help you with your interior designing. I know a lot of people struggle with decorating the inside of their houses, and I know I struggled for a very long time. So don't get discouraged and keep trying. Also, in my nature trail video, I discussed how we would likely have memberships soon, which was false. <laughs> I have access to them very soon, but my best friend is actually coming to visit me and then I'm going on vacation right after that. So I'm gonna be gone for about three weeks and I didn't want anyone to pay if I wasn't able to completely fulfill the perks that I'm offering. So I'm hoping to announce them somewhere in mid-October. So be on the lookout for that. If you like this video, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I hope you all have a fantastic day. See you next time. Bye!